drawing faces. It's hard. I drew them for 30 days. Let's see what I made. To start with, I have, I just did some rough studies of, um, a Giga Chad drawing. And then I drew some, a handful of other faces that I found online. Then I went and found an Asaro head reference, which is a, a head broken down that has all the planes that you can see on the face. And I thought that would maybe be a good starting point. Just to kind of learn the basics of the head. Then I came back and I drew a different version of the head too. A little more accurate. But eventually, I'm just not going to draw this head anymore. Here's day four. Did some more sorrow head drawings. This one, face, I think I drew from scratch, and the eyes were too small. And then this one down here, I tried to use this as a reference. Something I noticed, the cheeks are a bit wide, but the eyes, nose, and mouth are pretty lined up pretty good, along with the uh, ears, too. And then this study down here was really fun to do. I think it had really good shapes in it. I know they aren't the most accurate, but I think it's a really nice looking drawing anyways. Still a little rough, and if I cleaned it up, I think it could be a really nicely finished painting. Actually, I missed a day. And then this is the sixth day since I started. And this one, I have a couple rough drawings. They're not the best. They're okay. I find the hardest part for me is getting the eyes just right. And this one's pretty good, and you get to see one of my references here too. Uh, I like the reference here because there's good lighting. I mean, it's a little hard to see the definition of the nose right here. But overall, I really like this drawing. It doesn't look exactly like the reference, which is okay. I'm trying my best to get it as close as I can. And I was focusing on some of the other shapes in it. And I really liked how the drawing came out in this one. And here's another one where I'm just trying to do a breakdown. Yep, I did have a reference. And I was, I had, I forget which one I had. I had one that I kind of traced over the proportions and then another one that I used to kind of check where I was. I think I drew, yeah, I drew the red and then I had the green to kind of mark where different areas of the face was. So it's not quite exactly on, but it's pretty dang close. So I was just trying different strategies as, go as I was going forward. Day nine, which I thought was day four, which would have blown my mind if it was, because this bottom right one looks really good and I think I spent an hour total 15 to 20 minutes each maybe some of them were five minutes like this top left one looks oof all right day 12 I finally did a dude in this reference I just find dudes not very fun to draw for me personally but if I need to make a male character for something down the road I'm gonna have to learn how to draw dudes I just find drawing girls or women a lot more fun so I like some of these here. There's some nice clean lines. And I think these are really good drawings, actually. I did skip a couple days, so it's okay if you miss a few days. The things that you still learned are still going to be in your memory. This bottom one's really kind of rough, and I some of my lines are, are a little chicken scratchy in here. But that's it's okay to be chicken scratchy sometimes, like, especially if you're digital. like You can always go back and clean them up. It just saves time if you do less scratches and you become your art looks more confident when you draw it. And some some drawings I have pretty confident lines and some I don't. That's just kind of how it is for me personally. But I try my best not to do that. And then I did one in color, which this is actually pretty cool. I um, did it without trying to copy the exact colors. I kind of went with using monochrome and this one was pretty fun i like that i could get the highlights in some of the spots um the eyes actually look pretty good there's no pupils in this one but that's okay um the chin i can see looks like that's where there's a lot of problems there could be could come down a little bit more but for my one of my first in color ones i think it's pretty good and then i did another monochrome but then i tried to add skin tones underneath that and it didn't come out as well but I still like the shadows that I got and the shapes that were in here, regardless of the weird looking colors. And I think the shape of the head's a little off from the reference, which again, isn't the end of the world. I'm not trying to do hyper realism. Well, some days I am, but try and get it as close as you can get. And these ones are pretty good too. I forgot the, maybe I have a reference for one of them. Yeah, I have a reference for this one. Yeah, this was kind of a flat lighting one, so it wasn't the best. But it being black and white helps a little bit too. So I kind of like these ones. I like this one on the right especially. Even though there is some 
scratchy lines. For the most part, it's pretty good. This is day 16 now. So I missed a few days here and there. Day 17, I did kind of a side profile. But you can see a little bit of the eye, so it's not quite completely side profile. But I really like how this one came out. I like the lines in it. I like how the shapes came out. And I think it looks pretty good. This one would be one that I maybe go back and finish because it takes up the whole canvas. And it's I like the composition of it for the most part. I think this reference had her arms are crossing in front. So I might get rid of that and just kind of do like more focus on the head in day 18. I think th these were still pretty good. Um, the ones on the left were kind of like, what the heck am I doing? It's still struggling <laughs> with uh, the eyes. Um, the one on the right looks really good, but I think I spent more time on it. So sometimes spending more time can yield better results. Sometimes spending less time can be better. It just varies some time to time. Depends on how relaxed you are. Like, If you're really like tense, I recommend drawing them a little more quicker. But if you're more relaxed, take your time a little more. That's kind of what works for me anyways. All right, here's a bit of a time difference where I skipped a few days. Because there was like a stretch of days where things are just really difficult in my life. So I just couldn't do it. And I think... That's where some people run into kind of the issue where people say, draw every day, because sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you're just too busy, and life gets in the way, and that's fine to miss a few days. Maybe I'm just making excuses, but I did come back, and I kept drawing. All right, day 22, I tried doing more shapes instead of the traditional way of drawing proportions or a circle and stuff. I think I did start with some of that, but I was focused more on the shapes that I saw in the light and shadow. And this one's a really good reference for that. I focused on the mainly two values, and I think this was a pretty interesting study. It looks a little rough because I think that's all I really felt like working on that day. And then I started switching it up by drawing with different color, just drawing with different colors. Pretty fun just to kind of mix it up, make it a little more fun. This one on the left is more values again, and then the other three were more aligned with shapes. Shapes are still the core of a drawing anyways. One is more painted and the rest are more drawn. And I really like these. I think these colors are fun. I think this bottom one, the mouth looks a little weird. This top right one, I think the eyes look decent. The nose could be fixed. And I think the mouth needs to be rotated a little bit more. 24. I think I did draw the reference, this drawing from the same reference before. So I'm kind of repeating some. But I like how this looks. I think the eyes are a little off here. Again, that's the hardest part for me. Some people, it might be the nose. Sometimes the nose is hard. And then I got another reference. I think this was from a reference pack that I got on ArtStation. I think this one was free. I'll try and link some of the things that... I used in this video as reference. Maybe not all of them, but I'll try and link some of them. Give you some resources to work with. This one was pretty good. Drew from a reference. I had, I did slightly some tracing of some bigger shapes so I could get an idea of how everything fit together. And I spent a lot of time on this. And it looks, my, my drawing looks a little more smushed than the reference. So definitely the nose and mouth could have brought been brought down. And that's about the biggest change. Maybe make the mouth smaller. Biggest changes I would have made there. And these ones I was just trying to make, trying to draw them as many as I could in one day. And this came out with about five. And I had drew a nose because I was really struggling with noses. Or I saw a really cool nose reference to draw. So there's just a random nose in the middle of this. I like this one on the right with the eyes closed. Maybe because the eyes are less detailed so it makes it a lot easier. But I also like how it's tilted up as well. I think it looks really nice. And then here's one that I tried to render completely. I think I missed one one day in that stretch just now. So that's pretty good within the, the seven, so yeah, seven days period. And this one is pretty good. I like the colors. I still think the mouth is off in this one. That's the biggest thing that I notice. Right here is, if this written is day 28, this is March 3rd. And I was trying to I'm just drawing more, not really new techniques I'm trying here. I try and cover the techniques as I go through them. 
maybe there's quarter where you break it up into the face into quarters pretty good i like this bottom right one i try there's some scribble um value shading in there and yeah these faces are nice all right day 29 this face was rough because the looks like it's all melted i should have flipped the canvas or but i see i can see the problem where this cheek should be down a little further but the eyes, I think the eyes look the strongest part of this. It was kind of hard to get the eyes exactly. This might have been more of a better one to do a value study on. Because this eye is completely in shadow. So it's hard to see what's going on there. The mouth's a little bit low too. So day 30 and yeah, not bad. I think I made some improvements in some not so good drawings and some really good drawings do you mean through day 31 i did a few more studies i'm just trying to make up for some of the days i missed i don't completely make up all of them but i do make some good progress i did six heads in one day that's pretty good i especially like this one profile one the one above it and then this one to the right and day 33 i liked all of these studies this first one I don't like the hair so much in it, but that's not as important as what I'm trying to learn. The hair actually seems pretty the easiest part for me because it can be all kinds of different shapes and sizes. It's the most like customizable part of a, of a head. So if I got that wrong, it wasn't a big deal because you wouldn't really tell the difference too much. And I think these are good. The one on the right looks pretty decent. Kind of simplified the nose in that one. Day 34, I think these are all from imagination. Maybe not the one on the right. Yeah, the one on the right, I think what had, I had a reference, but that's just kind of what I came up with. And, and then, okay, this was my last day, day 35, which I don't know if I was keeping track of which date was which, but it looks like between 34 and 35, I missed a day, which is fine. I'm still, I'm just doing this for my own benefit of learning how to draw faces. And these ones I drew all on the same day. This upper right one it was the same reference. So this was so this one was the same reference. I was struggling, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna draw another one. And sometimes it's better to just restart the drawing and move on to something else. Sometimes it's better to push through it. And for the most part, other than that weird looking attempt that I had, I like these ones and I, I guess this this is probably this one's the best one, but the technically, this one's better because they have both eyes. This one only has one eye, but it is my favorite one. Um, but this one's probably the best one out of the last day that I did. Day 35, technically. But I did miss eight days, so I was like 27. I made some improvements, and there's still a lot to learn. Until next time, Dargon out.